There is a huge marketplace of online 3D assets, but how do you get things prepped and into Unreal? Why not install a five-story animatronic costume into a Colosseum scene for virtual production? <laughs> I mean, it's in the movies. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'll be prepping this file in Cinema 4D covering common issues and my techniques to easily get it into Unreal Engine. So here's the file I found on uh, TurboSquid. If anybody has any excitement to go find it themselves, as you can see, it's pretty cheap. Maybe it's because it just came out in the movies. Um, I don't know. I was like, yep, let me give it a whirl. Before I get started, I wanted to point out the problem. If I drop this FBX directly into Unreal, I'm very limited in what I can and can't do. So here it's just one, it's one mesh. Uh, some of the materials aren't uh, being applied correctly. I'm not sure if, it looks like the eyes are gone. Um, maybe it's, uh, maybe that's, there need to be two-sided. Line save. That didn't fix it. it looks like the luminosity is off. Um, if, for instance, like I didn't want him to have a hat or take the microphone off or, or adjust the bow tie, I can't really do that inside of here. Uh, materials seem to be working mostly, but sometimes they come in broke and they're they're not linked correctly because of the way the person saved it on Turbo Squid. Uh, normals might be flipped. With that, that might be the case here with the eyeballs. Can't see them. UVs might be wonky. You might need to redo that. Uh, meshes might be uh, a bit of a mess. You need to clean up the uh, the the points and optimize the points. Uh, the axis coordinates might be off. Like I mentioned earlier, I might want to organize things or group things differently, get rid of the hat. Depending on your, what your situation is, you just don't really have a lot of control if you bring it directly in here. Okay, here in Cinema, there's several ways to open an FBX file, but uh, easiest is uh, merge objects here. So find my file. Good old Freddy. Um, here, now this looks a little different than it did in 2023. Um, 2024, the import settings, uh, I, the one thing I always look for is the material options. Uh, let me quick show you in 2023. Okay, so here in 2023, FBX import settings, what I used to do is make sure that it's set on standard, physical, and then uh, material type, standard, and then I leave everything else checked. So, but here in 2024, those settings are, seem to be missing. So I went over to the Maxon user guide and under the new import and export function, when importing third-party formats, example FBX, which is what we're doing here now, it's now possible to globally define the renderer along with its corresponding elements such as light sources, cameras, materials, providing that that red blah, 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 okay. So basically under preferences, under the import export setting, you can set import export set targets right here. So I, um, I just by nature choose standard because that's what I've always done. They actually both work, I think, but I'm gonna do standard physical for today. So import that. He comes in looking like uh, like he's broke. But if I look at the materials, it looks like there's some things that aren't connected, missing files. So to fix this, go to Window, Project Asset Inspector under Assets. And here's where you can see the status of all of them. Uh, shift click to select them all. Right click, relink assets. And then go to the folder on your computer. Select that folder. They all turn green, check boxes. And Freddy is fixed. And as you can see, he does have eyes in fact. So there's some things here under the render folder that we don't want. These soft boxes and camera nonsense. Oftentimes my files I do need to group things or delete things that I don't need and I know I can do that here. Obviously here in cinema you're going to want to check fong tags, UVs, uh, the object axis is centered in the world, um, deleting cameras and extra things that you don't need, clean up the mesh and any points that you need to optimize. And for larger objects I group things under folders for easy organization and control inside of Unreal. For today this is good, I'm going to export FBX. Uh, make sure everything's pretty much good as default. Hit OK. I always like to check in Cinema in a new file just to make sure it worked. So under New Freddy, hit OK. And I like to check the materials, see where the textures are at. 
and it looks like they're inside of the new folder that I made exactly where they should be. Everything should be set to go. One last step for importing this into Unreal that I found is really helpful, but really quick, please hit that like if you found any of this helpful. Inside of Unreal, you can drop the FBX file directly into your content browser, or there's another way that I find you get a lot more control. But first, we're gonna wanna make a new folder to drop things into. So I'm in a meshes folder, I'm gonna right click, new folder, I'm gonna call this uh, Freddy. To import the FBX, go to file, import into level, navigate to the file, here it is, open, and then select the folder where you want that file to be put inside of your content browser. And then this window pops up, FBX scene import options. And in here, you can just confirm several things. So we've got our kind of folder structure that we had built in Cinema. Uh, the one thing to point out is uh, the hierarchy type. Uh, there's a few options, create a level with actors, create one actor with components. And what I'm gonna do here is create one blueprint asset. So it's gonna bring all those meshes into a blueprint, which is going to be self-contained and I can put it anywhere in my scene. So then I'm gonna hit import. It's importing those files and and for now I'm just gonna skip all these error messages related to name clash and uh, bones missing. So here inside of a blueprint is the file we just imported. And as you can tell, uh, the eyes are still messed up. So here I'm going to actually just double click on the material and change it to two-sided, hit apply, hit save, close it, and they did not come back. So I'm gonna go back into cinema just to double check to make sure some things here. So first check all normals. Yep, it looks like especially these are not inverted. That would be inverted. And it looks like the UVs are overlapping, but that it shouldn't matter. Um, because each has a different material that's applied to the selections. I'm gonna try importing the FBX file a different way just to compare results. So I'm gonna create a new folder, we'll call this Freddy2. And then in here I'm just gonna drag and drop the file directly. New import option window, skeletal mesh, no animation, transform settings. Materials look good. Yeah, import all. Uh, some of the same errors that we had before. Bones missing, that's fine for now. And look at that. He's got eyeballs. So it looks like the different ways to import the FBX file into Unreal may be a factor. Not sure how to troubleshoot that. If anybody has any ideas uh, that I'm not aware of, please leave a comment. Uh, that'd be super helpful. So then, just out of curiosity, dropping in the other blueprint. Oh man, he is all glam. There is something going on with, with that file. I'm really looking for some feedback in the comments. What sources do you get your 3D assets from for Unreal? Leave a comment because I'd love to hear from you and grow my resource list as well. That's it for now. Have a great day.